Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be answering your assumptions and opinions about me. I've seen a few influencers and YouTubers doing this now, so I thought I'd get involved too. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know at some point last week I posted a story asking for your honest opinions and assumptions about me. So I've picked out the top five that stood out the most to me and the most commonly asked ones or the most commonly spoken ones. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first assumption I'm going to say, and the most commonly spoken one, was that I'm a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of replies saying this one. Um, like more than 50% of the overall replies said this. And don't get me wrong, I can see why people say that. I don't have a very friendly or approachable face. And I am quite opinionated. But I don't think I'm a bitch. Not to sound vain, but I wouldn't say I'm a bitch. Um, obviously, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> but... Personally, I wouldn't say I am, no. Assumption number two, you come across really competent, but deep down you're insecure. Without sound in vain throughout this whole section, yes, I am confident, no, I'm not insecure. I'm confident because without being confident, I wouldn't have been able to come this far in what I've done. If I'd put on makeup and then not had the confidence to leave the house, I just wouldn't have achieved half the things I have already. And if I was insecure, I wouldn't be able to post all the time or leave the house. And personally, I don't feel like I have anything to be insecure about. I don't think anyone should have to feel insecure. Obviously, it can't be helped. But what I've realised is that at the end of the day, the things you're worrying about, most people aren't even noticing. So there's no point in you worrying about it. So yeah, to round that up, I am a confident person and no, I'm not insecure. Obviously, I'll have days where I'll look in the mirror and not necessarily feel happy about my appearance. But that's just life. Some days you'll wake up feeling amazing, others you won't. There's nothing you can do about that. Just as long as you work on your confidence, you'll have more days where you love yourself than not. So moving on to the third assumption. You're scared to fully transition into a girl. So short answer, no I'm not. The long answer, I have no desire to transition. I'm quite happy as I am and having what I have. <laughs> Obviously when I started doing makeup and dressing up like this, in the back of my mind, I was constantly thinking, am I transgender? And I feel like a lot of boys who do makeup probably go through that same phase. Like, you do question yourself purely because of the stigma around it. As of now, I have no plans to transition. I am perfectly happy as I am. Now for the fourth assumption, you grew up in a wealthy family. I feel like this really depends on your interpretation of wealth. Because what's poor for some people is rich for others. But in my opinion, no, I wouldn't say I grew up in a wealthy family. I had a roof over my head, food on the table and a bed to sleep in. We never struggled for money per se, but we didn't have money to splash out whenever we wanted. We'd buy essentials, pay the bills and we were happy with that. As I say, it does depend on your interpretation of wealth because my lifestyle can seem extremely glamorous to some. In the eyes of others, it can just be like, mm. it really does depend on your view of it. And finally, the last assumption about me, and that is you're extremely grateful for your fans. Personally, I can't stand using the term fans. I prefer to say supporters because that's what they are. The people constantly supporting what I put out there. Without people supporting me, I wouldn't be where I am today, career-wise, confidence-wise. There's so many things that my supporters have helped me with. Whether it's liking all the content I put out there, commenting nice comments, even just messaging me to ask how I'm doing. All of that just means so much. It really helps you grow as a person and it gives you a sense of validation that people are enjoying what you're doing with your life. So yeah, overall, I am extremely grateful for everyone who supports me. Thank you so much. So that's it for this video. Those were the top five assumptions and opinions about me. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you do want to see more of me, I'll leave the links to my other socials down in the description box down. If you do want to see more of me, I'll leave the links to my socials down in the description box. If you do want to see more of me in the meantime, I'll leave all the links to my other socials in the description box down below. Also, just before I love and leave yous, I just wanted to say I am attempting to post every Wednesday now on my YouTube channel. I'm just trying to get into the routine of filming weekly and also trying to get past the awkwardness of just talking to a camera because it does still feel a bit weird to me. And obviously you can tell from my awkwardness on camera, but yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to get into that routine. And then once I'm into that, I'm going to attempt to start posting more often, you know, maybe two or three times a week. 
But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.